So while we're waiting to get started, if you're not already outside, grab whatever device you're on and get outdoors with us. And some supplies that you might want to have today would be an old soda bottle or water bottle, um, a skewer, bamboo stick, anything like that, some yarn or string, scissors, a sharpie, and some tape. And if you don't have them, that's okay. My friend Leslie is going to post all those supplies for you in the comments below. All right, so let's get started. Again, welcome everybody. My name is June Sisk with Girl Scouts Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont. And our Girl Scout Council serves 40 counties in Western and Central North Carolina. And today we are getting outside with Girl Scouts. And today we're gonna learn how to make different kinds of bird feeders. So we're gonna upcycle our very first bird feeder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this bad boy right here. We're gonna start with an old soda bottle. You can use a water bottle, any kind of plastic bottle you want. Just make sure it has a lid on it and that it's kind of tall. So what we're gonna do first is I rinse my bottle out. It should be dry. Make sure yours is dry when you do this. You're just gonna get a Sharpie and you want to draw a nice big opening for the birds to be able to go in and get the food. So I'm going to draw a nice big opening on the front of my bottle like that. And if you're not really good with scissors, grab a parent to help you. But the easiest way to cut this is to kind of squeeze it in the center and cut you a hole to get started. Make sure you have a really good pair of scissors. Or you can get an adult to help you with this part too. So once you have a little hole cutted, you're just gonna start in the center and kind of work your way out. You want the edges to kind of be as smooth as you possibly can. Your circle doesn't have to be perfect. We are going to protect the birds as they go in and out. So why is it important to have bird feeders in your yard? One, you're helping with the environment and you are providing food for something that's commonly found everywhere the main reason i love having bird feeders in my yard because if i have bird feeders in my yard all kinds of birds come and visit my yard and i love to see all different kinds of birds so after you have your hole cut out the next thing you want to do is and i found this is easiest to do with a push pin is to take a push pin and go to the brim down here at the bottom part of your bottle where it starts to curve down and just poke your really, really good hole. And you just want to kind of wiggle it through and then go all the way to the back and you're going to do it again. So I wonder what kind of birds do you guys see at your house? I see robins and blue jays and red birds and crows and all kinds of birds at my house. So for them to have something to stand on to eat the food, I'm gonna use a bamboo skewer. But before I put my skewer in my bottle, see how when I cut it, I had some straight edges. So I'm gonna take some tape and you can use any kind of tape you want to. You can use masking tape, duct tape, I just happen to have some electrical tape and you just want to cut yourself several short strips. It's harder to do one big long strip with a curve so you just start some short strips. And this will keep the birds from scratching themselves as they go in so you just want to put it kind of halfway in the center and you want to fold half of it on the front and half of it on the back. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just again protecting those little birdie bodies. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Can you guys hear any birds where you are at outside? I hear birds every time I come outside at my house. And we're just gonna keep working until we get all the way around that hole. one more little piece and we're almost finished with that part okay so now all of our cut plastic is taped off and protected so we've already punched our little holes so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the skewer and I'm gonna stick it in the back first and I'm gonna kind of make the hole bigger 
And then I'm gonna go to the front and do the same thing and just kind of wiggle it around and make that hole a little bit bigger. There we go. So I'm gonna stick the skewer in from the back and work it all the way through. And this is gonna be our perch for our birds to land on on the inside. I'm gonna leave just a tiny bit sticking out the back so it doesn't kind of fall apart on the inside of the bottle. And we wanna make sure that we protect our birds so they don't need this point or this big long perch. So I'm just gonna take my kitchen shears and I'm gonna cut that down just a little bit or you can even break it off. You just don't want that point on there for the birds. Okay, so now we have our bottle cut out with our hole in it. We've got our perch for our birds to land on. How are we gonna hang this up? So this is the part where you get your string, your fishing line, your yarn or whatever. I like twine because it holds up pretty well outdoors. And you're just gonna cut a piece of twine. I cut mine about a foot long. And you're just gonna drop a little bit of it down in your bottle, separate it on both sides, and then you're gonna take your lid and you're gonna screw it down on top of your twine. And then this will be what you hang it up with. You can hang this right outside your window in a tree or a bush. You could even get your parents to put you a little hook up to hang it on, maybe on your front porch. Okay, and then all we have to do, ta-da, is add our bird seed. So you just tilt it back and pour in a little bit of bird seed. You don't want to put in too much, just enough to cover the bottom. I feel this one a little heavy because I'm going to leave it out all week. And your next step would be just to put these outside your window and what let the birds watch. So the next thing we're going to do is this was our upcycle bird feeder. Now we're going to learn how to make a bird feeder that is actually a couple different kinds that are organic. So I like to make things out of things I would throw away. So this is an orange that we started to eat. Get your parents to help you cut it in half, right? And then you're going to take a spoon and you're going to scoop out all the good stuff on the inside and eat it, right? Then, I found the easiest way to do this is with a nail. Take a nail and punch a few holes in the side of your orange, almost at the top. And I like to do three. If you do two, sometimes your orange might tip over with your birds on it, but if you do three, it tends to work pretty well. And we're gonna cut us a nice long piece of twine this time. Okay. And to be able to get the string in there pretty good, I'm going to use my nail and kind of poke the string through the hole and have it come out on the other side. And I'm going to tie the first one. And the great thing about this one is once you do it um, and the birds eat it and stuff, the orange will actually right away and the birds, it's safe for the birds to eat it as well. And then all you have to do is go get your string back out of the tree when you get done. So then we're gonna take and we're gonna put it in. Ah, there we go, there's my other hole. So what kind of things in your kitchen do you think that you could make bird feeders with? That one I'm just gonna leave hanging about this far. And then I'm going to take the last part of the string and punch it through the last part of the hole. And then I'm gonna tie that off. And so what you'll see here is I have two strings to hang my bird feeder by. And you just wanna kinda of find the middle of them and pull it together. And with it having three points, the birds won't be able to tip it over as well. And then all you have to do is just grab you some bird seed and get you a spoon. Or you can just pour it right in there like that. And this is a really fun one that you can hang. You can hang this one. If you don't have any trees in your yard, you can hang this one on a bush or a rose bush or any kind of thing around your yard. And then once you get done with that, all you have to do is go back out there and get the twine. So that's one. Another kind of, kind of organic bird feeder that I love to make, and I love to make these when they were kids, is um, if you have pine cones in your backyard, you can make a really fun bird feeder out of this. But we're gonna have to put some down here to make the bird seed stick to it, right? So, everybody has peanut butter in their house. It's one of my favorite foods. You just take a big old scoop of peanut butter, right? 
and I just make it really easy. I just take the peanut butter and just kind of rub it up and down the side of the pine cone like that. And the peanut butter is going to act kind of like glue for us. And the funnest part is getting the bird seed on there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dump some bird seed out in our plate here. And then we're going to take our pine cone and we're just going to roll it around. And as you can see, you now have a pine cone bird feeder. Same thing as before. Grab your favorite twine, string, whatever it is you're using. And you're just going to this time, I just kind of run it in the top. You want to make sure that your cones are pointing up the opposite way they would be hanging on the tree. The reason is, is you actually want this pine cone to catch water and stuff in it because it'll, that'll take it longer for it to dry out. And if your bird seed is like this, it's automatically going to fall right off of the of the pine cone, but it'll stay on longer that way. And then you can make you a loop here and tie that to a tree however you want to. So, our last one we're gonna make here, I don't know if you guys know what tomorrow is, but tomorrow is Easter and that's a very fun holiday. And you might have noticed my Easter eggs here. So, when you get done making your pine cone bird feeder and you've got your extra bird seed left over, this is the part where you're gonna want your mom or dad's help. You wanna go in the kitchen and grab you a bowl and throw some Crisco or some butter, just something in there that's gonna get like an oil that'll get liquidy and sticky. You could probably even use canola oil too. And you wanna mix your bird seed together and that oil is going to make your bird seed stick together. Then put your bird seed in one of your Easter eggs. You can do this after you get done having fun with your Easter eggs tomorrow and you're just going to put it in there now when you open your easter egg up it's going to stay in there and it's going to be two separate pieces right so you can do a bunch of different things with this you can leave it hanging in your tree and the birds can come and eat out of it and you just hang a string right in the middle or you can even put these on the ground and the birds will eat out of them so now we have four different types of bird feeders we've made today we've made an upcycle bottle bird feeder we've made a pine cone bird feeder um, an orange bird feeder and then an Easter egg bird feeder. So which one's the best? Right, well, um, I have a special guest judge here with me today to help me decide what her favorite bird feeder is. But before we get started on that, if you are not already part of our Girl Scout family and you love being outdoors and you love some of the cool and fun things that you've seen us do, you should join us. We have really um, exciting new opportunities starting next week. We've got the virtual troops available. So if you're not already a Girl Scout and you would like to receive registration information about our virtual troops, you can visit beagirlscout.org forward slash connect. And we will um, contact you about registering for those virtual troops. So today, my special guest judge for which one is the best bird feeder is the Girl Scout Easter Bunny. Thank you so much for being here with us today. So, what do you think of our upcycled bird feeder? Is that your favorite? Okay, she kind of likes that one. What about our orange bird feeder? Do you love orange bird feeders? They're kind of okay too? Well, we can't go wrong with our pine cone bird feeder. What do you think about that? That one's pretty good too? How do you feel about Easter eggs? Do you love our Easter egg bird feeder? Oh, it's your favorite. Yes. So our Easter egg bird feeders are Girl Scout Easter Bunny approved. And you can make whichever one your favorite is. So thank you so much for joining us today with Get Outside with Girl Scouts. If you would like more information about being a Girl Scout, you can visit beagirlscout.org. And if you love being outside, you can go to camplikeagirl.org and see all of our uh, great summer resident camp programs. And before we leave today, I'm wondering if the Easter Bunny has a special message for you guys today. She thinks you guys should all join Girl Scouts and be a Girl Scout just like her. So, tell everybody bye. I, we hope you guys have a great Easter and thank you so much today for joining us at Get Outside with Girl Scouts. <laughs>